Hey, this is Scott, and today we're going to talk about the build quality and design of the Laowa 12mm f2.8 0D. So this lens feels awesome. It's solid. It's all metal, including the lens hood. It's a very good weight, so it feels like it has a really nice build to it, but it's not too heavy to be awkward, and it balances really well on a full-frame camera like the 5D Mark IV. The lens hood, however, similar to the 7.5mm Micro Four Thirds lens, uh, does not click into place. So although it is very solid and very nice quality, you want to make sure that it's on there every time you take it out of your bag. When you do take off this lens hood, there's actually a smaller uh, kind of extension here that allows you to still put the lens down without touching the front element, even though it is a rounded, bulbous front element. The lens cap is a little bit strange in that it's the push-on type, but it doesn't push on on the outside of this little ring here like it does on a lot of lenses. It actually goes in the inside, which sometimes kind of worries me about accidentally scratching the front glass if you're not really careful. It also has a couple of little tabs here that you have to align with the uh, extended part of this like mini lens hood, so it won't go on in just every position. It'll fall off if you put it in, in this position. You have to make sure that that's lined up when you put it on and it will kind of snap into there. It doesn't snap in super securely, but I've never had it come off inside my bag. What further complicates that issue about being worried about scratching the front glass is that, similar to a lot of these Laowa lenses, this lens hood does not go on after you've already put the lens cap on. I guess it can, but it's not meant to be that way. It's really tight and it's kind of awkward and I would be afraid of actually breaking it. Being able to remove this hood though does allow you to more easily clean this front element, although this does still slightly get in the way. But this front element also does include their frog eye coating, which will help to repel water and dust, which is nice. Otherwise, this lens is not weather sealed. As you can see on the back here, there's no weather gasket uh, indicating any level of weather sealing. And there's also no space for any drop-in filters back here. So if you want to use filters with this, you're going to have to have some sort of attachment for the front, which Laowa does actually sell at a reasonable price. Of course, this is a fully manual lens, as are all of Laowa lenses, and so there's no electronic contacts at all on the back here, which means no data whatsoever will be passed to your camera. You won't know what aperture you were shooting at or anything like that when you're using this lens. The aperture ring on the lens itself does work very nicely, though. It clicks into place pretty confidently at each full stop. Uh, and the manual focus ring is butter smooth. It's really, really nice, and it's got a fairly long focus throw. Uh, with hard stops at either end, so this is actually decently nice for using with video as well. Speaking of using this for video, because of its fully manual design, including a manual focus ring that has hard stops at both ends, uh, it's very wide field of view, a fairly bright aperture of f2.8, and a reasonable size and weight, this is actually really nice to adapt to a Micro Four Thirds camera like the GH5, using just a cheap dummy adapter and using this for video. I really enjoyed doing that as well as taking, of course, photos with it on a full frame camera. Also, just to mention, although there are no electronic contacts on here communicating with your camera, I've had no problems with getting accurate exposure and metering has worked just fine. One more small little quirk of this lens is that if you look just behind the lens hood here, the entrance pupil is marked on here to help with uh, lining it up for seamless stitching when you're shooting panoramas. If you want to know more about what this is all about, there's a full article explaining it on uh, Lawa's website and I will put a link to that down in the description below. Finally, this lens is also compatible with Laowa's Magic Shift Converter for Sony FE lenses, uh, which is very interesting, although I have not been able to test it because I do not have a Sony FE camera. So all in all, the build quality and design for this lens is pretty spectacular, except for the lens cap, which somehow Laowa has seemed to fall behind in with all of their lenses. I will also have an image quality test very soon, so if you want to see that, be sure to check the description below for a link, and I'll also put a link on screen now when it's ready. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will get back to you. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.